Season 1 of Chucky saw the return of nearly every major legacy character, but Season 2 should see the return of two original Child's Play characters. Who are they? Well, you're in the right place. Hello and welcome back everyone to Behind the Lens, your entertainment channel where you catch up with the latest releases and upcoming movies, series and more. Don't waste your time searching for fake news and release date, join your favorite channel and stay updated with the world of films and programs. So let's get straight to it. It's about time for two major Child's Play legacy characters to make a comeback, and Chucky Season 2 is the perfect place for them to do so. With Chucky Season 1 in the rearview mirror, the overall opinion among franchise fans appears to be that creator Don Mancini was able to successfully transition the titular killer doll from movie star to TV star. That's not to say the show was perfect or didn't have some major plot holes, but for the most part, the original Chucky proudly returned after the ill-fated movie remake in 2019. Unlike most movie franchises turned into TV shows, Chucky stayed true to the film's continuity, picking up the story after the conclusion of 2017's Cult of Chucky. In doing so, Chucky also opened the door for the return of a slew of returning movie characters, including the crowd-pleasing return of Brad Dorif as Chucky's voice. Chucky's wife Tiffany, as well as Nika Pierce, Andy Barkley, and Andy's foster sister Kyle, have all returned in both Doll and Jennifer Tilly forms. Chucky and Tiffany's twin children, Glenn and Glenda, have also been teased, though they have yet to appear on screen. With all of the Child's Play legacy characters present and accounted for in Chucky Season 1, there are only two major characters left to bring back for Season 2. Andy's mother, Karen Barkley played by Katherine Hicks, and Detective Mike Norris, played by Chris Sarandon, who also played Fright Night's vampire villain Jerry Dandridge, the cop who saved Andy and Karen from Chucky's wrath. They've been missing since the first child's play, and it's about time audiences found out what happened to them. While neither Karen nor Mike have been seen on screen since the first child's play, Child's Play 2 revealed that Karen had been placed in a mental hospital prior to the film's release due to her support of Andy's story about Chucky's survival. Andy was placed in foster care as a result, and he met Kyle. However, Child's Play 2 never explained what happened to Mike or whether he, too, supported Karen and Andy's story. Perhaps he realized that doing so would only get him locked up, so he remained silent because Chucky was dead again. Karen Barkley was still institutionalized in the widely reviled Child's Play 3, which took place canonically ten years after the first film. That seemed a little ridiculous, given that she wasn't actually insane and would have presumably realized she needed to change her tune on Chucky in order to be released. When Andy reappeared at the end of Curse of Chucky, he was on the phone with his mother and mentioned Mike, implying that Karen was not only released after Child's Play 3, but that she and Mike became romantically involved as well. If that's the case, it makes sense for Karen and Mike to appear together during Chucky Season 2, most likely to assist Andy in getting out of whatever situation the Tiffany doll has put him in. Longtime fans would be delighted to see Andy and Karen on screen together, as well as Chucky interacting with the man who originally murdered Charles Lee Ray. So that's it everyone. Let me know what you think in the comment section, I would love to read them. We will keep you updated if any more information is official, keep an eye on our community. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. To see more videos like this in the future hit that subscribe button. Thanks a lot for watching, hope you enjoyed. Stay safe, stay tuned and see you soon.